Following up on last week's show talking about tethering using your GH5 and a USB cable, we're going to find out today whether it matters if you're shooting with USB 2 or USB 3. Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live show here on YouTube at youtube.com slash photo joseph every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, first live show about photo and video and streaming and all things related and three times a week, first live. You know, at some point someone's going to say, you weren't first. I'm going to say, <laughs> you should have told me that three years ago. But for now, we're claiming it because I can. How y'all doing today? Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you were ready for a week of solid hard work here on the Monday or in some parts of the world it's already Tuesday. Um, today we're talking about USB cables following up on last Friday's show about tethering. Not that you have to have watched Friday's show to understand this show, but if you have missed Friday's show, make sure you watch that. It was awesome. We talked about how to configure your Lumix GH5 or GH5S or G9. Uh, I just didn't have that cable with me. Or G9 for tethering into your Mac or PC. And then from there, taking it into Lightroom. It was super cool. It was a lot of fun. And I was showing off this cable that I had uh, that I had picked up, which I quite liked. And so let's do another quick little view of this guy. Um, this company called X Cords. I got this thing on Amazon. We linked to it already. It's called, it's make your life full of power. It's a very powerful cable. And somebody, eagle-eyed in the audience, said, hey, psst. See right there, can you see that? It kind of shows, it says USB 2. And, and I thought, oh, oops. I did the whole demo with a USB 2 cable, but this camera, the GH5, the port on here, the USB-C port is actually USB 3.1, which has a dramatically, dramatically faster data transfer rate. Four, let's see if I get this right, 480 megabit for USB 2 versus five gigabit for USB 3, I think that's right. Um, it's a significant difference. Like, it's a big difference. So I thought, oh, crap. I should have, I used the wrong cable. And the whole reason that I use this cable, this cable, let me untangle it now, is because it's longer. Um, it's braided. Or we call braided. It's got like a cloth on it. It's really nice. This is a really long cable here. Let's, I don't, I'm sure it says the length in there, but there you go. That's, there you go. Full Two full arm widths, arm, there you go, widths of cables. Very nice. Versus the one that comes with the GH5, which is, less than half of that. So if you're tethering laptop, camera, macro shoot setup like we did the other day, plug in, plug in, this cable length is fine. But if you want to actually move around, if you want to, if you're shooting with a model or something, you want to be able to move around a little bit, then you need a little bit longer cable. And this might need, not even be long enough, but it's the long one that I picked up. So I realized after someone pointed out it was USB 2 that I may have in fact kind of messed this whole thing up by using a slower cable. So I ran some tests this morning and I'm going to show you these tests. We're not, I'm just going to tell you about the results. We're going to actually show them to you because I think the results are quite interesting. Um, actually, very, very interesting. So that is the objective of today. Does it matter whether you're shooting tethered with the USB 3 cable versus the USB 2 cable? And incidentally, I, I think I knew this, but I don't, maybe, I, I don't know. There's an easy way to tell the difference between the two cables. Um, at first, I'm going crazy looking and trying to figure out if this is a 3 or a 2, and I found it says in like, you know, one point font on here somewhere, it says USB 3.1. This is the one that came with the GH5. And then some genius pointed out to me that, um, actually all I gotta do is look at the, the color. The blue color on the inside of the USB cable. So let's see if I can get this to show up on here. So there you can see the difference. The blue cable is USB 3, the white cable is USB 2. Easy way to quickly tell the difference between the two. Excellent, bravo. So that's that. Now, what difference does it make for speed? We talked about the theoretical speed difference, but let's see what happens when we're actually tethering. We're gonna fire up the tethering, connect the camera, do all that again. I'm not gonna show you the whole, what the camera does. If you don't know how to do that, you can watch Friday's show. While I get that set up though, let me remind you about our value for value proposition. What this means is if you gain any value from today's show, I would most certainly appreciate it if you considered providing value back. You can pro provide value back in a variety of ways. Uh, one of those is Patreon. You can contribute a monthly, regular monthly contribution. It could be a dollar, it can be anything you want. Uh, you can contribute one-off contributions via PayPal or Apple Pay or Google Pay or whatever you like. You can uh, buy things off of our um, uh, affiliate store. If you go to photojustice.com slash support, you'll see a link to that. It'll actually, that'll take you to the kit.com slash photojustice page. And also at the slash support page, you will see instructions on how you can hire me directly if you want to set up some big, huge, complicated live streaming solution and you want some personal help doing it, I could be your guy. So with that said, if you learned something, help a brother out, photojustice.com slash support. Right, let's test this thing out. So I have... I'm going to start with USB 
two. Let's start with two. Oh, incidentally, I was told, <laughs> I was told that on some systems, you may find that if you plug in a USB 2 cable, do some USB 2 transfer speed things, that your system goes, oh, USB 2. And then you plug in a USB 3 cable, and the system goes, ha <laughs> still USB 2. And until you reboot, you don't get back to USB 3 speeds. I think it's a Windows thing, because I just tested it on my Mac, and I had done copies at USB 2 speeds, and then with USB 3, and then I rebooted and did the 3 again, and there was no difference. So, yay, thumbs up for the Mac. Um, thumbs down for any system that makes you reboot because you accidentally plugged in a USB 2 cable. That's super lame. Uh, but in the meantime, we are testing USB 2 first, and then we'll go to 3 so that you can clearly see the differences. All right, turning on my camera, going to set it to... Got a battery here, set it to the PC tether mode. We are going to look over at the Mac here. Here we go, there's my Mac. Uh, there is the Lumix Tether software. Just checking the settings, make sure we're all set. SD card and PC, so it's gonna go to the SD card as well. It's gonna import into my Lumix Tethered folder, which let's bring this thing up again. It is in, it is in uh, Lumix Tether, there it is. And I'm going to delete all of these things here. In fact, these other things here, let me just get rid of those as well. We'll talk about those in a moment. Let me just get these off to the top level here so we have a nice empty folder here to work in. Okay, there we go. And we are set, we've dis disabled the automatically display review image. I don't want to see that. Um, we're transferring raw and JPEG if we're shooting that, but we're only shooting raw. So that's basically it. All it's going to do is transfer the files over. It's not going to do anything other than that. Nothing special, nothing fancy. So, um, Easy way to do. Uh, let's see, Burnstack is saying USB 2, 3, and 3.1 is the protocol. Oh, you guys are talking about cables. Yeah, there's the type C. Yeah, thanks, Burns. Um, the connection type, the tip, the end of the cable, is the connection. So that's USB A, this rectangular, the most common thing. I think the blocky one, I think that's B. And then this little skinny guy is C. The transfer speeds of USB 2 or 3 or 3.1 or going back to the USB 1, the original ones, that's the speed at which the data transfers. That's, that would be the protocol um, versus the connector type. So two separate things. USB-C does not necessarily mean USB-3. That's an important thing to know because I think I was confused about that myself when I first when USB-C first came out. Okay, so that is all set. We are going to, I'm going to break out the stopwatch. Um, yeah, I can't do this and that at the same time. Shh, at the same time, I don't have that set up. Um, but that's okay. You can just, you'll believe me when I set the start the stopwatch here. We're going to... I'll put this camera in manual mode so it doesn't do anything fancy. It's not going to try and focus, but manual focus. Everything's manual. It's just going to take pictures. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 10 pictures on the camera, and I'm going to do it in single shot mode because it fires so fast when I put it in a multi, I have no idea when we hit 10, and I want to make sure I get exactly 10. So I'm going to start the stopwatch at the moment that I push the shutter the first time. I'm going to fire the shutter 10 times. We're going to be look. You'll be able to hear the shutter firing. We're going to be looking at the computer, and we're going to see how quickly the folder fills up with all 10 pictures. And I will stop the stopwatch when the, if we look at the counter here, so it says zero items. We're gonna look at that when, we're gonna stop the stopwatch when that hits 10, not when the last thumbnail rebuilds, because the thumbnail rebuilding is not relevant to the file transfer, that's just the computer building the thumbnail. So we're gonna, as soon as it says 10 items, boom, I stop the stopwatch. Sound fair? Sound fair. And the reason we're doing 10 is because if I just take one picture, you know, how much of that time to get over there is just processing on the camera versus actual data transfer. So since we're trying to compare data transfer, I figured this is a good way to do it. We have another way to do this as well. We'll talk about that in a moment. But this is specifically for tethering. Okay, everybody ready? Everybody good? Everybody's happy? Uh, let's switch over to this view. And I am ready to go. Camera on the trigger in three, two, one, zero. So there's 10 pictures. And watching the folder fill up, and this is very exciting watching the folder fill up there. Hopefully I actually did that 10 times. And I couldn't actually hear the first time I pushed the button, so I think it's going to click. So there's 9 and 10. Okay, that came in at 17 seconds. All right, that was 17 seconds for 10 raw files, uh, which are adding up to 240 megabytes to transfer over. And that was over the USB 2. This is the cable we used last week. All right. Should we do it again just to make sure there's no like anomalies? Let's just do one, we'll do the same thing one more time just to make sure there's no anomalies. You know, data like USB uh, channel could get filled with something else. We'll do it one more time. So let's go back over here. I'm going to delete all of these. And we're gonna do it one more time. So we had 17 seconds. Can somebody write that down? 17 seconds. And I'm going to do this again, reset my stopwatch. And three, two, one, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. 10. And watching that fill up. 
There's five and six and eight and ten. Fourteen seconds. All right, it's a little bit faster that time. See, I, that's why, actually, truth be told, that's why we ran it, because I knew last time it was a little bit faster. It's like closer to 14. So 14 seconds to 17 seconds. Again, it's USB, so any other USB activity could be interfering with that, but we should do like three or four more tests and average them out, but we're just going to call that good. 14 is actually what I got before, so we're going to go closer to the 14. All right, now let's try the other cable. So I will take this out and plug this cable in. We'll unplug the USB tube cable entirely just to make sure. We're all good and, and even here. Plug in the USB 3 cable. Camera fires up, says PC tether. We're doing the tethering. Back to the Mac. Let's select all of those and delete them. So we got 17 and then 14 seconds. Thank you, Burns Tech, for writing that down. Um, Ricardo says it's faster because it is cached. No, Ricardo, we shot 10 new pictures, so nothing should be cached, right? We, shot, we didn't do the same transfer. It was 10 new files, so no caching. Okay, um, let's do it again. All right, so clock... Ready, reset, everything's ready here. We are tethered, we're set to go. Let's go back to this view in three, two, one, start. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pictures. And do, 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 do. can I get demonetized for humming the Jeopardy tune? Okay, ready to stop. 12.49 seconds. Okay. I'll hum it in an off key, Ryan says, and then we'll be okay. Okay, 12.49 seconds. Very close to 13 seconds. Let's do one more test. I'm going to select all, delete out of there, and reset. Call 12.4, so 12 and a half seconds. Um, all right, and let's do this again. So go back to the Mac only view, and ready, and three, two, one, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And see, anything on home is going to be off key, Ryan, so we know we're safe there. And ten. Ooh, 11.28 seconds. So here we go. There, That's fascinating because it's actually slightly faster than my test that I ran before the show, which showed absolutely no difference whatsoever. <laughs> so there you go, discrepancy in USB speeds. So we are seeing a marginal difference, marginal difference in between them. That's, that's not much at all. A matter of a second or two is really not much of a difference. So, okay, what about file copy? We're going to come back to tethering in a moment. What about file copying? And we're not going to subject you to these, but that's what these folders were on my thingy on my desktop that you might have seen before. Let me pull these up and zoom in nice and big so you can see the tests. So I did a copy of, how big was this? This is 2.3 gigs. Okay, I copied 2.3 gigs of content. It was 97 pictures. Over USB 2, it took two minutes. USB 3, it took a minute and 13 seconds, and then there was my test after restarting the machine, a minute and 11 seconds, so essentially the same. So for copying files, it is dramatically different, right? At copying the files, we are seeing a considerable difference in the speed of USB 2 versus USB 3. For tethering, we're seeing a very, very nominal difference, and if you're shooting a single frame or just a couple frames at a time, that difference is gonna be essentially indistinguishable. So for tethering, I think you're perfectly fine using USB 2. However, now we get into something a little bit more interesting. Obviously, if, if you need every little ounce of, of juice, then you want to get USB 3. If you are shooting with a large, forget about Lumix for a second, so you're shooting with like a Hasselblad or something that's shooting these massive Mondo 50, 60 megapixel files, you're probably going to want the 3. I'm assuming that those cameras use USB 3. I have absolutely no idea. But if they do, then you're going to want it because then I think you're going to start to see more of a difference. Also, if you want significant distance, so this is giving me whatever the heck this distance is. As I said, double my arms width there. That's two of these wide. That's what I'm getting off this. If I want more than that, then you probably are going to want to go with USB 3 and a very specific type of cable. Namely, let me just show it to you because I think these are awesome. Okay, here we have a actual, a, what's called a tethering cable from this company called Tether Tools. This is USB... A, that type of connector, USB-C. It's blue, so we can tell that it is the USB 3 speeds. It is $50. This is not a cheap cable, but this is a very, very good, reliable, very fast cable. Um, specs on here, if we look at the specs, it is 15 feet long, so 4.6 meters, so definitely longer than what I've been working with. There it is, USB 3. So, um, and one of the biggest things about it is this, high visibility orange, or you can get it in black if you want to. But this high visibility orange is awesome when you're shooting tethered. This is really slick because that means that you have a cable that people can see. 
because you don't want people tripping over your cables and connected between your camera and your computer, two things you value greatly, you don't want either of them tumbling to the floor. So if you're doing serious tethered shooting, take a look at these guys. Now, if you're gonna go even farther than the 15 meet 4.6 meters, then they make a active extension. And this is the critical part. You can't just buy any old USB extender. It has to be an active extension. This active part of it is going to allow it to actually work at these extended distances. And let's see, what is the distance? What is the length of this thing? This gives you an additional, uh, there we go, an additional 16 feet. So basically doubling, a little bit more than doubling the length that you had with a single cable. So now you're talking about seriously being able to move around your studio um, and, uh, and you know, shooting wherever where we need to go. So if you're shooting tethered just next to your you know, like little macro setup, studio kind of setup where you're not moving things around, use the cable that came with the GH5, you're golden, you actually get a slightly better, better, better performance, but no one's really gonna notice. Shooting in tethered, you're good. If you're doing some kind of slightly moving around shooting, you don't need massive length, but you want more length, this USB 2 cable, at least on the GH5, will work perfectly fine. The speed difference is totally negligible. If, however, you want longer distances, then go for the Tether Tools cables because then you can get not only 15 feet, but up to over 30 feet. And, um, and you get the bonus of having that bright orange cable on there so people are less likely to trip on it. So there is your roundup of what USB cables to use for tethering following up in last week's show about tethering. Yes, excellent. That is what I wanted to show you. Um, just one little other thing to test if you really want to get, uh, get into the testing on this. I, the cards that are in this camera right now are not in here anymore. They're, oh, look at that. Maybe that's why the, I had the difference in speed from what I just saw versus when I was testing earlier because it wasn't actually writing them to the memory card because I took the cards out of the camera. Ah, that could explain the difference. A little bit better performance when there's no cards in the camera. Because earlier when I did the tests, the speeds were virtually identical on both sides with USB 2 and USB 3, but the cards were in there. Interesting. Hmm. What I was going to say before I discovered this little anomaly was that I hadn't tested between, I had regular, I don't know how many of them here, but I had regular uh, UHS-1 cards in there. I did not try it with UHS-2 cards. Another thing I have not tested, remember I showed you that copy, which, what did I say, the 2.3 gigs took a minute and 11 seconds to copy over, was that, was that the right size, 2.3? Yeah, 2.3 gigs took a minute and 11 seconds to copy off of a standard UHS-1 card over, however, I wonder if it would be faster with the UHS-2. Burns Tech, wow, thank you very much for that contribution. You, my friend, are a beautiful man. Thank you very much. That is awesome, value acquired. You know, um, I, oh, now I really wish that I'd gotten this set up today. I just discovered a, uh, a little thing, you know, if this, then that. You can set up a if this, then that, so that when someone does a, a, um, a super, super chat on here, what Burns has just done, thank you very much, Burns, that is very, very much appreciated. When someone does a super chat, it can turn a hue light on to the color of the super chat. So his came in as orange, um, it would put the light that color. And I'm totally gonna set that up. I was gonna do it this morning, but then I ended up messing around with this all morning and I didn't have time to get it set up. But, uh, but you can expect that coming up in the near future. There'll be like a little light sitting in the corner that'll change color as people super chat it. Assuming it works, because I think that's cool. But thank you very much, Burns. You are you are wonderful. Okay, that is what I want to do. So if any of you out there want to run some of these tests on your own, and you've got UHS-2 and UHS-1 cards, um, or UHS-3, what are these called? Uh, no, U3, UHS-2, yeah, two cards, with the double, you know, the double row of, this backwards thing is going to kill me. Um, with that, the double row of pins. If you've got those cards and you want to do a copy test, so again, shoot 100 pictures onto the card, plug in it over USB, USB 3, and mount the disk. Because when you, when you plug in the cable, it comes up and it says, do you want to tether or do you want to use a storage? You put it to storage. It mounts on your desktop, just the same as if you had popped the card in, and do some speed comparisons. That'd be great. You can let me know how that goes. Um, I, I can do those and maybe do a blog post about it, but not this week because I've got a ton to do before I leave next week. Speaking of, this week, this, I got so much to go on this week because we are going on vacation after this. After this week, we go on vacation for a couple of weeks. Um, it is gonna be a working holiday. I have a client job that I can't tell you about yet, but I will share hopefully little snippets of it from the road, and then I'll be able to share the complete project once I'm back and and when the client says it's ready to, to share. But I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be shooting stills and video while on the road for this project and uh, turning this into a bit of a working holiday. 
And uh, again, I will share with you what I can as I can, but I'm stoked about it. It's going to be really, really cool. I'm, I'm really excited about this project. Um, in the meantime, I've got a ton of other stuff to do this week to get ready for it. I will do a pack, what I've packed, the gear I've packed for this shoot. I don't know if I'll be able to tell you what the shoot is, but I'll at least be able to show you the gear that I'm taking on this trip. We'll do that at some point this week. Um, plus, I've got a couple of things coming for the shoot that I'll be able to do unboxings of which might end up doing unboxings recorded and then releasing them next week while I'm gone just to kind of fill up some content while I'm away. Um, other than that, that's about it. Thank you again, Burns. You are wonderful. I really, 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 really appreciate that. And uh, everybody else, have a wonderful week. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.